did you guys know that Rosemary goes back? What's up, guys? It is Thanksgiving morning, and I just woke up. And as you can imagine, with this being my first real holiday since um, my separation, I am just kind of feeling all of the feels and fighting the urge to just lay here and waller. Um, I really didn't expect it to affect me this much, honestly. My husband didn't care about the holidays at all. He, um, I don't know, he just wasn't really big on them. But one of my love languages I've come to realize is, like, cooking for people. And I cooked for him all the time, but I tried to make the holidays special. And so I'm just kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of sad, um, but luckily I do have really great friends that uh, we've planned on doing a little Friendsgiving get-together later, so I do need to get up, get ready, get some things done. Um, they want me to make cabbage, which <laughs> is not a traditional Thanksgiving dish by any means, but hey, that's what they want, and if that's what I can contribute, I'm for it. I've got all of the things to make it, so I just need to get up and kind of get the day started. I also bought some stuff to make bread uh, a while back, and I've just not done it. Um, the process is kind of annoying to me, having to wait for the, the dough to rise and everything, so um, I haven't attempted it yet. Actually, I had a thing of rosemary, like fresh rosemary, um, go bad, which who knew, right? Like, did you guys know that rosemary goes bad because like you can buy it dried out in a little jar or whatever. And so I didn't think that like, if anything, I thought that the rosemary would dry out, but I went into the kitchen one day and had an urge to go ahead and make the bread and the rosemary had gone bad. So uh, I picked up some more yesterday. So let's get up, try and shake off the sadness and uh, yeah, do something productive. And then we'll head over to Diane's house and see what our Thanksgiving's going to look like. So we started off the day with a little light exercise by taking Thor out for his morning walk, after which we headed back inside and enjoyed a much needed cup of liquid motivation. Next up, I got started making the bread. I added one cup of flour at a time to my yeast mixture and added in some garlic seasonings for flavor. I began mixing this with a fork but by the end of it, I was hand folding it together to ensure everything was incorporated. Now, like I said, this was my first time making bread, so I'm sure I went wrong in more ways than one, but I think things started getting sketchy during the kneading process because this thing turned out way too thick. While I was waiting on the bread, I decided to get started on the cabbage. I threw some chunks of bacon and sausage into a pan, cooked those through, and then transferred them into a crock pot, added in the cabbage to the remaining bacon grease, sauteed that up with some seasonings and a little bit of water, and then mixed everything together at the end in the crock pot so I could keep it warm. Once my portion of the cooking was complete, I was finally able to move on to getting ready for the day. And I just wanted to spend a minute here talking about the importance of self-love and self-care. 
even if you're not going through something major, maybe you're just having an off day, there's a lot that could be said about the impact that simply putting yourself together can have on your mental health. So, after spending a few minutes fighting with this poorly cut bang, I finally gave up and decided the best way to win a vanity-based battle is with confidence. I tussled it up, threw on a cute outfit, and headed out to load up the car. Extra thankful Diane agreed to let me commandeer her washer and dryer for the day. After that, Thor and I loaded up and we were on our way. Okay guys, me and Thor finally made it home. I am exhausted. It's like almost midnight and we're going to head into a food coma soon, but I just wanted to take a few minutes to reflect back on the day and some of the things I'm thankful for because I am truly blessed to have the set of friends and the support system that I have. Uh, to lean on at such a rough time in my life. The fact that I even had people to spend the day with and to kind of ease the feeling of loneliness. I had a really good day and I'm lucky because not everybody has that in place when they go through situations like this. Um, really, I'm thankful just to be here in general, right? Because a lot of people don't make it out of situations like the one that I was in. And so the fact that I was even here to celebrate the holidays is honestly a blessing. And I'm just really grateful for the time that I got to spend with friends today and for some of the connections that I've made over the last few days. I'll touch on that in a future video but I am so thankful. And I, I just kind of wanted to go over that since that's the theme of the day. Um, anyways, I'm going to head to bed, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel so you can follow along on my healing journey. And until next time, I love you all so, so much. And please remember to pour into your own cup.